Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel and in this video, using this simple example, I want to show you two basic operations for creating 3D solids in FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a fully free 3D CAD system where you can create your own 3D models, for example, for 3D printing. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please do. And if you like my tutorials and would like to thank me for my work, you can support this channel. You can find the link in the description of the video. Now, let's move on to a new project in the Part Design Workbench. We will start by creating a sketch on the XY plane, because one of the basic operations for creating 3D solids in 3D CAD systems is creating a solid by extruding a sketch. This is the operation we will perform. Create a rectangle here. Place the center of the rectangle at the origin of the coordinate system. Enter the dimensions of the rectangle as 50 mm by 30 mm and close the sketch. Based on this sketch, we will create a solid by extruding the sketch. We will do this using the pad operation. Select this operation and here we specify the length of the extrusion. Enter 40 mm. As for the values in these fields, we can enter them from the keyboard, but we can also change these parameters by scrolling the mouse wheel. Click OK, and thus we have created a solid by extruding the sketch. The next basic operation in creating 3D models is the operation of removing material based on a sketch. We will create another sketch. This time we will create a sketch on this face of the solid. Select this face of the solid and choose to create a sketch. Here we will also create a centered rectangle. Select to draw a rectangle. Place the center of the rectangle at the origin of the coordinate system. For the dimension of the rectangle, enter 25 mm, and as for the second dimension at this moment, it is irrelevant. It is important that the rectangle protrudes beyond the solid, so we create the rectangle in this way, and close the sketch. Now based on this sketch, we will remove material from this solid, and we will do this using the pocket operation. Select this operation. Specify the depth of the pocket and click OK. The extrusion operation, where we create a solid by extruding a sketch, and the pocket operation, where we remove material based on a sketch, are two basic operations for creating 3D solids in 3D CAD systems. As for these basic operations, they also work on the faces of the solid. If you select a face of the solid and choose the extrusion operation, we can add another part of the solid here. We click OK, and here an extrusion has been added. At this point it may seem that there are two separate solids, but it is still one solid, and these lines result from the way geometry is displayed in FreeCAD. Regarding the pocket operation, this operation also works on the faces of the solid. If we select a face of the solid and choose the pocket operation, we can also add such an operation based on the face of the solid. Click OK, and regarding the display of these lines, we select the last operation in the tree of operations and change the value of the refine parameter from false to true. These were two basic operations for creating 3D solids in 3D CAD systems. The next very basic operations are the filleting and chamfering of edges. As for edge chamfering, select the edges you want to chamfer with the control key. Select the chamfer operation and here we specify the size of the chamfer. We click OK and in this way we added a chamfer. As for filleting this operation works similarly. We select the edges we want to round choose the fillet operation, specify the radius value, and click OK. If it comes to changing the appearance of the solid, we right-click on the solid and choose the Appearance option. We can select one of the available materials or specify the color of the solid. In this way, we created this part. In this video, I wanted to show you that extrusions and pockets can be created not only on sketches but also on the faces of the solid. We will finish here. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel.